in the land of Mordor, in the fires of Mount Doom, the Dark Lord Sauron forged in secret a master ring. And into this ring he poured his cruelty, his malice, and his will to dominate all life. One by one, the free lands of Middle-earth fell to the power of the ring. But there were some who resisted. The last alliance of men and elves marched against the armies of Mordor, and on the slopes of Mount Doom they fought for the freedom of Middle-earth. Victory was near. But the power of the ring could not be undone. It was in this moment when all hope had faded that Isildur, son of the king, took up his father's sword. The one ring was lost for thousands of years. Now, Destiny has placed the ring in the care of an unlikely creature, a hobbit, Frodo Baggins. Along with the help of his friends, Frodo set forth on a perilous journey to the land of Mordor to destroy the ring in the fires of Mount Doom. But the Dark Lord Sauron has again emerged. And with vengeance, he commands an army bred but for one purpose, to destroy the free peoples of Middle-earth. Sauron now desperately searches for that which was his in ages past. Should Sauron find the One Ring, darkness shall once again fall upon Middle-earth. There we go. Ahoy, everyone, and welcome aboard. So I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight, along with... Please, your mighty Lieutenant Rakir, at your service! <laughs> and put your backs to it, lads! And welcome to the Lord of the Rings, the Battle for Middle-Earth, patch 2.2, version 4.7.0. Uh, 
yeah. <laughs> this game is quite something. For some stupid reason, probably because the Tolkien estate is run by a bunch of idiots, uh, this game isn't available for purchase anymore. But that doesn't, that hasn't stopped a, uh, a small but dedicated uh, their community from continuing to work on this game until this very freaking day. I, uh, I, I double checked if, uh, if the game was updated to the latest uh, fan patch and I don't know if it came out earlier this week or just specifically today, but yeah, there was a new patch for it, or a new version of the patch. Uh, of course, this is fan work, so it's not like perf yeah, perfect, as you can see with a bunch of the shadowing all over the place here. But overall, this still works perfectly fine. And yeah, like I said, you can't buy this game anymore, because apparently the token state at once wants all the money, but doesn't want your money at the same time. Because seriously, this game is a classic, so why the hell would it not be available for purchase anymore? <clears throat> But yeah, if you just Google the Battle for Middle Earth's fan patch, you'll probably find the fan launcher. <clears throat> and yeah, we will be going through this game story, of course, in the campaign, of which there are two, the good and evil campaign. Now, I have I have done quite a bit of testing on if I can get through the, uh, the difficulty of this fan patched version. Because, uh, yeah, <laughs> they've rebalanced things quite a bit in some bits of the story. For example, everyone who knows the uh, the movies will know Helm's Deep. And this just keeps on going, huh? It's constantly new angles. <laughs> yeah, I, I basically took the, the, battle for, uh, Hel the Battle of Helm's Deep as a bit of a point. Like, if I can beat this, I'll likely be able to beat the entire rest of the game. And even on that, it's only on easy so far. So, yeah. Let's get started with the good campaign on easy. And get right into it. Now, this game does have a tutorial, but it's it's a bit of a bad tutorial because it's just video showing you what, the, yeah, what you can do and such instead of actually having you do it. Mordor is the land of the Dark Lord Sauron. He has dominion over this bleak and wasted landscape and all who enter it. Sauron wages war with all of Middle-earth. He must be stopped or all shall fall into darkness. The hobbit Frodo Baggins now bears the ring. Guarded by a fellowship drawn from all the free peoples of Middle-earth. Hmm. The One Ring must be returned to Mount Doom and destroyed in the very fires of its creation. Okay, also, let me actually... <laughs> I forgot to bring up the chat tab on OBS. My bad. And yeah, we start right here. <laughs> right after the fellowship has been formed at Rivendell... And the first mission will be Moria. At the moment, <laughs> it's just only, of course, going to be one place. But in certain parts, we will be able to choose to go to other places. But for the most part, this game will follow the story of the books, of course. The books slash uh, movies. Uh, I know that some people prefer the books. Some people prefer the movies. I've never read the books. I might pick them up at some point. Probably should at some point because Tolkien is just considered one of the grandmasters of fantasy ever. I actually have. So, I think I'm stuck on the first chapters. I feel like I five chapters in and I'm somehow still in the Shire. <laughs> okay. <I laughs> when did you start reading that? Last week? Uh, 15 years ago, <laughs> I stopped okay, going to a film I was going nowhere. <laughs> okay. I, sh I should start reading them again. Yeah. Uh, the game does, of course, take some liberties to, well, make things more enjoyable as a game. But for now, let's yeah. head to Moria. And they call that a mine. 
Yes, people, you should have expected me to say that yoke with his helmet on. The city of the dwarves. Its ruined halls are now infested with vile goblins. And yes, we will be getting quite a bit of uh, text uh, narration from Gandalf. Freaking basking in it. And they call it a mine. A mine? This is no mine. It is a tomb. We have but one choice. We <laughs> must face the darkness of Moria. Okay. We should never have come here. Let us hope that our so, yeah. Gameplay is like your typical ah! I've never <clears throat> seen a creature like that. RTS. We have a bunch of uh, we have all of our, yeah, you know, the, all of the fellowship here. Oh, yeah, oh. Get this up and down. Something's glowing. Yeah. He's here. Veterans of Upgrades. Yep. Hero characters can level up, up to level 10. And I believe normal uh, units can level up to level 5. Of course, they get experience from killing. And, yeah. Each level, of course, requires more kills to level up. Intruders! Over here we have our objectives and side objectives. I don't really know what if these really add that much, other than just, well, getting you a bit of extra stuff. Guide the Fellowship through the Halls of Moria. All Fellowship members must survive and, well, destroy the Balrog. <laughs> Find five treasures, rank all heroes to level two, and purchase a power. Be on your guard. There are older and fouler things than orcs in the deep places of the world. Yeah, here are the powers. Increase the power of the Even Star. Yeah, we get have, we get to use all sorts of little uh, upgrades here, similar to I think the only really game of the same era I saw do something similar was uh, Command and Conquer Generals. There probably were a few more. I can remember at least one other game that did similar stuff, but I can't remember what it was called or where it was, when it was released. But of course, stronger powers require more of these points, which we get through, well, completing objectives. I think side objectives add to it as well, and actually killing enemies is, does as well. First, Ooh. let's get heal. Let's see. Hello in chat, Lord Dresser. Heroes and I think units only uh, can get one level per, uh, up per map in campaign mode. That is somewhat accurate. I have I have tested this game a decent amount, and in there are level caps, but uh, I think I can show I can probably show that with Gandalf in a bit because we need to find five of those treasures, and Gandalf. Uh, uh, a character can only go up to a certain level in this. I think the maximum level here is three. But yeah, hello, Lord Dresser, and welcome to the stream. Hope you enjoy the show. Also, something I should quickly do select all of these and set them to throw stones instead of using their swords because, well, melee damage 30, range damage 40. Plus, they're hobbits. They're squishy as all hell. <laughs> okay. And yeah, I'm using attack move so that, well, they will just attack anything in sight. Okay. Careful. Let's not pick that up too soon. And yeah, every hero unit has their own abilities that unlock at certain levels. Uh, Gandalf in this patch already has Wizard Blast, Lightning Sword, and a Magical Shield. Uh, I, I believe this is one of the things changed by the fan patches. I can't tell for certain. It has been a bit since I did tests. Uh, let's see. Wizard Aragorn Blast. at rank 2 gets Blademaster. And yeah, Legolas <laughs> just 
<laughs> fan favorite of nearly everyone. Let's give this to him. A reward. There we go. That's the second treasure. There should be three more. Okay. There is evil that does not sleep. There you go. And yeah, despite oh, the fact that this, yeah, despite the, uh, despite the fact that the game is set on easy, that doesn't mean that this is going to be a cakewalk. This is back from the day when uh, you could seriously screw up even on easy. Okay. And here we have our first Ooh, monster. He throws bigger rooks than your hobbits. Yep. And he throws uh, Aragorn. Yeah, big creatures like that can and will slap around your units. Okay, Gandalf, will you pick this one up? I currently have the game set to... Let me show it in the options here. Uh, ta -ta -ta, alternate uh, alternate uh, mouse setup. Basically, normally, right-click is the actual action button. So, setting, nice. uh, yeah, so uh, you select with left and you move with right mouse button. It isn't as, it isn't the standard. So I typically I I'm probably going to screw up with that because typically typically when you click you can select and then just click anywhere and the character will go. I think they did change that in the sequel to this game to be more standardized. But yeah, I'll likely, I'll, I'll likely push the wrong button every so often. So yeah, for power usage at the moment it's left click and then left click. I think normally in the normal setup it's left click, right click. Okay, gotta keep an eye on everyone's health. With you, okay, Gandalf has taken quite a bit of a beating. Luckily, Aragorn comes with this Athelas. Uh, ability that will heal allies nearby, but it'll of course have quite a cooldown. I'll probably want to pull Gandalf back a bit from here, just so we can oop. Boromir. <laughs> of course, Boromir goes and steals the treasure. Uh, foreshadowing. We must keep moving. I think that was the King's Hall. Yep. Makes sense with, well, how high up they put that. Okay. I think, yeah, we should be we should be able to get everyone to level up for the bonus points here. As you can see, we're almost getting another power already. I will be saving those up. Evil lies beyond these doors. Oh. Here lies Bali, son of Hunting. Lord of Moria. He is dead then. We must move. We cannot linger. Goblins. They are coming. Let's have a turn. Okay. Huh? There we go. Just utterly blast a whole bunch of them. What is Gimli's abilities? Uh, Gimli, well, he can throw an axe. Legolas can shoot two arrows at once. Oop. Which I probably should do right there because trolls can deal quite a bit of damage. Evergorn Blade Master plus 50% damage and 50 armor for 25 seconds, cool down two and a half minutes. So yeah, you can't just use these willy-nilly. <laughs> gotta keep an eye on, where is Gimli? There's Gimli. Of course, he's easy to miss amongst all of that. Okay. Use that to heal everyone up. They will not get okay. Deal with. Yep, it's already dead. Now it is fully dead. Okay. 
Trolls are pretty dangerous, as well would be obvious. Yeah! So you'll want to try and focus those down with uh, ranged attacks. Yes! Carnage! <laughs> Gimli, of course, going at it with that. Nope. Gandalf, where are you? There. Okay, they will call out things like if people are getting very hurt. Focus that thing down. And yeah, the heal will of course also be on quite a cooldown. Uh, let's see, we found one, two, three treasures. Here's number four. Okay. I can also show with Gandalf that he won't be able to pick this one up. See? We should nope. never have come here. What was that? Uh, goblins! Intruders! And yeah, this was put in by one of the fan patches, I'm pretty sure. Normally you just pass by this room. Okay, Lego. Legless, can you quickly pick that up? One of the nuisances of the oh, of the alternate play uh, control set is that you can't uh, you need to steer a character through one of these upgrades. You can't send them to just pick them up. There we go. And everyone is level two now. Okay. Let's move on. Uh, let's actually... Hmm. Let me do a bit of a look. Is there... Hmm. Is there anything hidden around here or something? Because we found four treasures and the next room is the last room. So where would the... Where would the last one be? Hmm. Yep. Oh, wait, but we did find five. Okay. Did I pick one up without even realizing then? Okay, and well, we all know what's coming here. goblins in the way oh, come on just a bit further to fight it one-on-one -on -one with Gandalf. As it said at the top, use Gandalf's special powers to defeat the Balrog. And the only thing that will actually hurt it is the Lightning Sword. I think everything else basically does nothing. Because I cannot <laughs> see the bar of its health work uh, move at all. Luckily, this thing... Uh, really? Three and a half? Three minutes fifty? That... That's definitely, obviously not the, the real case here. Okay. Oop. Okay. Oop. Let's see, magical shield, covers himself with a shield battle for three seconds, 99% armor, and resist to knock back. Now that we'll have what's need for that here. Fellowship continued that perilous. <laughs> the narration yes. gets cut a bit <laughs> close. <laughs> okay, and at the end you get these statistics, yeah, statistics and such, all the side objectives, points for heroes leveling up and for units leveling up. Uh, but this is mostly... I have, I have really no clue what these points are really for. Maybe bragging rights with, <laughs> with other players. Yeah, we got one power points. 
And here we have the units that continue their journey. Yeah. All of the experience and kills will transfer over for every character that will move on. That won't be for every single unit as we go, but we will be able to name <laughs> we will be able to name some units. Of course, no hero units. <laughs> okay. Plus one power for three. As the shadow of Sauron moves across the land, Lord Eomer and his horsemen must defend the villages of Rohan. And yep, we all remember the big ass army of horse riders. Will we get to build it? <laughs> okay, so we get to choose from three different regions. Westfold for plus 10% resources generated. Rohan for plus 20 command points, which is down here, 130 at the moment, the unit cap. Or Eastern Rohan for plus one power. Let's go there because, well, I want to build up her quite quickly. The eastern border of Rohan's lands is a fertile grassland with bountiful farms. We must be prepared for war. Prepare for Everyone battle. able should stand ready to defend Rohan. Okay, and here we have the base building. Okay, what we'll want to do is build farms quickly. Because, well, basically in this game getting your economy up real quick will just steamroll you along. Of course, we will need to build up some... Uh, what you should do is run them the fuck over. So yeah, the more economy you have, the more quicker you can build uh, your units and such. Okay. Outside of our bases, we also have these little outposts where you can put up stuff. Let's continue building farms where we can. And yeah, we've gotten a bunch of refugees now. Uh, though honestly, for what we need to do, these guys are basically useless and only taking up command points, so... Bye bye. Have fun with the orcs. We ride. Yeah. Oh, come on. Uh, <laughs> tell me, with the with the charge of Rohan, did you see many people on foot charging along with them? No, I know. Stay with the horses and just get among them. True, but yeah. That must be the enemy. Keep these lands safe. Okay. And well, as cavalry, we can just run, run these guys the hell over. It will slow them down and it will hurt them a bit, but, well, put it sim to put it simply, it hurts them a whole lot more than it does us. <laughs> we will want to buy, build one of these wells, though. Okay. And, yeah, Irmir... Once he hits level 3, he gets this very useful outlaw leadership ability. Which will, well, give us money for kills near him. Not by him, just near him is enough. There we go, just run all of that over. You can, of course, tell cavalry to just go attack something, where they will just go up and stab it. But... Well, let's be honest, that's not what cavalry is supposed to do. Okay. Let's go back and heal up. Well, it depends if they're armed with a lance or a sword or another weapon. If you're armed with a hand weapon, you're supposed to ride past... You basically... Shop or slash as you ride past them. Yeah. And These wills here... They're basically healing AOE. stuff. They heal in the AoE around us. We're around them, and well, since character, since units keep experience as they move between levels, they you will want to keep them alive. You will of course also want to build an actual stable. Build another one of these here, and let me see. I had some notes somewhere on this. Was that on the other notepad? Because I'm not seeing my notes here and in this yellow one. Uh, let's just build that there. Okay. Uh, let me think. 
As we lose units in these, it'll also drain command points a bit. So once, a f <clears throat> once they restock their amount or their their numbers, it's not okay. Uh, let's see. I want to get a few more of these, but not enough to fill up the mission the level cap. Where did I leave that? Did I leave it in this thing? Uh, let me see. Uh, here we are. Mm -hmm -hmm. Okay, I, I, I've got it here. Also a bit of a plan of in what order to do the levels. Oh, let's see. Da -da -da. Yeah, leave 20C for level 2 stables. Okay. I see. Yep. And, well, of course, they're uh -oh. going to have their own powers as well with this. Huh. Do we have any... S we are a strong oh, people. one single survivor here. Okay. Uh, go say hi, Candygram. <laughs> We're ready to ride out. Okay. Uh, let me see. Then one more of these. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Hello in chat with Mario. Or Mario Rocamon Fina. Okay. Uh, where can I find it to buy it in, in Italian version or English? Oh. Uh, if you Google the Battle for Middle Earth fan patch or fan launcher, you will likely be able to find uh, this game, uh, Mario, if I may call you that, because that is that name that long name is a bit of a hand mouthful. Okay. Now we've got our number built up with space left over. Okay. Are there still some peasants alive somewhere? Either way, these first levels with uh, the actual army builder are, of course, or the army building is, of course, going to be very easy. <laughs> uh, yeah, we, we just ran them over and moved the fuck on. Uh, I think you just run over the cranes as well. Hmm. Uh, and uh, you can see they slow down when they run stuff over. It, of course, will not work with other uh, with uh, other infantry and monsters like the wargs here, and we can just steal the we can steal their kill and the money with it. Okay, build something here. Let me double check. Okay, destroy all evil camps. All right, let's build that up. But in the meantime, we are just going to attack here. Let's see, Mario. Okay, thanks. Uh, no problem. This, this game deserves to be. This game deserves to be remade, or at the very least, re-released. Yeah. Okay. And oh, as typical yeah. with uh, RTS games, oh, some pesky yeah. archers. If you destroy their base or all of their bases, because they will go out and build new ones if there are spaces for it. Uh, yeah. Once we've destroyed all of their buildings, all of their major camps. Well, we win. So, it's a good idea, especially with Rohan, in these missions to go raid their camps, to destroy their, <clears throat> destroy their production facilities, and then, well, go look around for more stuff to do, perhaps if need, yeah, if the level has such. Okay, and yep, of course the <laughs> the main building is left lost. Okay, now we'll get to see if there were any surviving peasants. Hmm. So that built six farms, rank Ymir up. Basically, all of these levels are going to ask, or ask, let's say, hey, level Ymir, you'll probably want to. Okay, total of victory. And, okay, no of those, okay. Well, <laughs> shall we start with naming these battalions then? Yes. <laughs> okay, and the first one should, of course, be very obvious. But what? Wait, what? <laughs> Have you seen my helmet? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, next up, 
Let's go for Rom. And then we have Liz. And last ones, I'll say Sensai. And of course, where there's Sensai, there's a Tatum. <laughs> All right. Plus one power, four, four. You would want to stash those up good. The city of Los Lorien has long been a land of peace and beauty. It is now threatened by the forces of Sauron. Okay, I, I may have to cover this up in editing because, well, <laughs> the Tolkien estate is a bunch of assholes. I think those might be too short to, uh, to respond, but... Perhaps also too small. There's plenty of tricks that people use to get movies onto YouTube anyways. Not that I know said tricks, but oh well. What should we do? Protect the fellowship. Kill the Moria government. Quickly! We're under attack! Okay, he's got to deal with these. And yeah, Gandalf has already been put in his uh, Gandalf the White outfit. They are no match for us. Even though we actually still have to purchase that one here, so let's go do that. Plus 300 health, plus 100% damage from Gandalf's powers, and unlocks a Istari Light. Powers charge twice as quickly. So yeah, that is a big boost. Okay, and we get some elven warriors. Alright. I think this is where we have our second deviation from the story. Or how it originally goes. Come on. Right. Shut up, Pippin. Pippin wants to nap in the middle of a fight. Uh. Okay, oh, the fellowship to Lorien. But before we do that, there's something here that should not be here. Okay. Yeah, I will want to get rid of those. Yeah, because it's, well, a side objective. What the heck? Hmm? What just happened? The forest took back what was taken from it. Bloody heck. Must build a barracks to train more warriors. There and there. Okay, all of you over there. Frodo. I press down Alt, and then I can set wait yeah, waypoints, because there's a lot of loot around here to gather. So there, there, and there. There, and there. Yep. yep. Okay, and... Just lovely buildings. There, there, there. There, and there, and last but not least, I think there. Okay. Left click to set a spawn location, and then just make a bunch of these guys. Okay. Uh, all right. We need to right click to unselect those, which is a bit of a nuisance. Okay. Elves, team two, pack move. There. Okay. Nope. Uh, nope. Take down those or if not works trolls. Nope. Pull those guys back before they get too hurt. Okay. Gandalf, clear the bridge. Okay. I think they're doing a bit more than just approaching the bridge. 
trolls come from the north. Make ready, archers. The oh, they've got the the troll barred. Yep. <laughs> why did it? Why did he just get thrown by the chant from being troll? Because yeah, trolls. Oh, oh, that one has a club. Trolls, when they're close to death, tend to, well, throw a tantrum, which has a habit of throwing everything and literally everything around them, even other trolls. Broda, I saw... Oh, that, he must have... He must have completed his circuit. Okay, uh, more elves. And that's all the elves we can get at the moment, it seems. Okay, uh, you lot back here. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we'll want to make use of this as a choke point as best as we can. We're just getting as many of our people nearby. Ooh, that's a... Train archers, quickly. Yeah, at level 4, Legolas gets this ability, which will give archers experience. Which, well, will help very much here. Move forward, you lot. Okay, in the meantime, also, I'm going to grab these, uh, this batch here, and get them to clear out the lumber car camps. Back. Fight oh, right, you, switch to your, <laughs> switch to your bow, bloody elf. Okay, defend that Lorien. All heroes must survive and destroy all, all the lumber mills. Okay. They're whittling away at that. Okay, we've lost some people, so we some yeah, some CP has been freed up. Ooh. They're coming for this bridge. Um we cannot stay here. On the right side of the bridge, people. Good. We want to get rid of that one as quickly as possible because they buff on nearby enemies. Or they are allies. Yep. <laughs> and that's the second time. <laughs> okay, they're gone. You lot, get over here. Okay, that one has been cleared up. Go deal with that one. Okay. Okay. And yeah, since we're at Lothlorien, Frodo has got... Well, Frodo and all of the hobbits have gotten one of those cloaks. Okay. And I believe the last attack will come from here. Well, they are out of luck. Well, I don't think we'll get to uh, destroy that one then. Hand out some more experience, please. Actually, we can probably sneak these around. I probably should have sent that those archers out earlier. Gandalf, play the bridge. There we go. Thank you. All the trolls are dead. Okay. Go destroy that, please. Okay. Nobody's seriously injured. And the, the tide has turned. Uh, yeah, you can any, quite any easily lose them. 
Uh, let's see. The only one to not level up has been Sam. I'm uh, another elf over. I think that that's Pippin. Uh, no Pippin. Yeah. Uh, hold dear here. He's not coming along. And let the last second that gets saved. In. Okay. Hmm. Uh, okay. Is there some enemy stuck somewhere? Because that was the last attack. There they are. What should we do? Oh, I Pressure. think I see it. For the enemy. Hello there, and goodbye. Pressure. Pressure. Yeah. <laughs> One orc laborer left, and he ignores the pressure. Has oh, he's a pirate. The elven healers will bind your wounds and destroy you. Okay. The treasure doesn't get carried uh, carried over anyways. And yeah, Sam, the only one to not level up. It's getting a bit hot in here, so I'm turning on my fan. Plus 30 command and plus 1 power. And yeah, everyone get, <laughs> continues to move on. Okay. And we're already back to three. Must be defended. Okay. Now there is one area here that is missing at the moment. Was the other area that was available right now, and I think I can see a very, very good reason as to why that's unavailable right now, huh? Oh. Yeah, an, an Uruk arm, not Uruk, an Isengard army of almost 1,000 Uruks. <laughs> so, yeah, and <laughs> Eomir only has 25 right here to his call at the moment. So, yeah, that would be suicide. Okay. Just a little, just a little fancy Rohan something I noticed. The center of Middle Earth. These horse lands have long been the site of war and conflict. But its people now seek peace and freedom. Uh, Destroy all Isengard forces. But yeah, that that's just something I noticed I you while testing the game. Okay. Let me actually tag this thing as group zero so I can just easily go back over here instead of having to click over on the map. Okay. See, garrison the ruined tower with any units, rank up Eomir one level, and just destroy all evil camp. That's going to be the main line through these. This is mostly just building up our forces for Helm's Deep. Okay. Nicely meant and all, but... Uh, you don't stand much of a chance, sadly. Okay. Oh dear. Okay. Hmm. Now that I think about it, I think the experience isn't just from kills, but also just being involved in fights, maybe. I don't know the exact uh, bits of it. But I think at the very least, heroes will gain experience from being near kills as well. They'll probably just get more from uh, making kills themselves. Okay. Whilst we're here, we might as well raid the place to soften it up. And that's the biggest threat to us at the moment. Pikemen. Those, of course, are going to be, well, an utter menace to us. So, we need to break away. See if we can break that first. Actually, no. Just nope, get a nope, move on. Nope. Get a move on. Those spearmen are going to be utter hell to deal with with just... <clears throat> with just uh, horsemen like that. But, of course, there is a very... There's a secondary form of horsemen that is very known in real uh, history. Oop. Okay, then. I thought they were slower than that. Odd. At the very least, we can kite them around at the moment. Oop. Let's 
build a well. And oh, I I thought I was building the tables, but nope. Okay, at the very least we can outrun those pikemen quick yeah, quite easily. I really thought they were supposed to be slower. Is something buffing them or something? Okay. Either way, uh, let's destroy one of these over here. Demolish building. Okay. Everyone over here to heal up oh, and kick out, <clears throat> kick out the uninvited solicitors at the door. There. Our people will need us. Okay. Yeah, we can lose individual units from a squad, but once each and every one of them is gone, they are just plain dead. Okay, these we want. We're here on archers. Because, well, they can't poke us if we're out of range for them to poke. Yeah, now you just need to make sure you can kite them around. Okay, run them over again. And that seems to have killed them without any full losses. Okay. It takes a bit of a moment to claim these after they've been cleared. That way you can't just immediately rebuild everything. Okay. First batch of Rohirrim archers. Okay. Yeah, we could also build up some watchtowers here, or sentry towers. But let's be honest, we're here to raid and pillage. Okay. And yeah, they'll keep doing that. Not, that doesn't only just scout. Any unit of ours caught underneath that uh, will cower. So it will debuff them. Oh. Run them the fuck over. Okay, because this game, I don't remember. I don't remember if it was just uh, visual flare, but uh, <clears throat> your units do respond to stuff like their celebrations at the end every time. And similarly, if they are faced with well foes that are beyond their confidence to deal with, they will cower and such. I know that there was at one point on the, the old side GameTrailers.com, a showcase of that, I believe. But I don't know if that can still be found somewhere. Okay, uh, Garrison the Ruined Tower, any units? Can we actually send one of our... Yeah, they're talking about this thing here to, well, as a tutorial for garrison stuff. Can we send one of you lot in there? Of course not. Would be funny, but no. Okay. Yes, you need infantry to do that. Yep, and we don't have any room for any infantry at the moment. Because you threw them away! Oh uh, well. Also a little thing, if you destroy this thing first, then they won't be able to build anything until this thing is repaired. But, if, of course, it has more health than all the other things around it, so it's typically the last of all. Okay, but now we have our core of horsemen. And let I'll be honest, from this point on we'll only be building or <laughs> we'll only be building uh, archers on horseback. Okay, plus twenty commands. Now let's see. Who else to name these after? I can think of two more. DJ Kiske. No, oh, actually, I know a third one as well. Then we uh -oh. do... Uh, can I put that fully in there? Nope. I forgot an A. There. And... Pika Girl. <laughs> I almost put it as Pika Git. Yeah, uh, that's their that's their British cousin. <laughs> okay. Isengard desires the One Ring, the 
fierce attack has been plotted to destroy the Fellowship and take back Sauron's prize. Yep. Okay, here we go. Ah, the Mexico share. Okay. Vial of Galadriel causes enemy units to flee, so it gives us a bit of time. Okay. Gandalf, light that place up, please. Uh, okay, Qu quickly. Blow those away. Thank you. Okay. Get them to back off again. Okay. And with everyone together, let's just clean these up. Level 5 Gandalf. This place was once great. It is sad to see it destroyed by evil. Now I've lost count. These two constantly. Legolas and Gimli. Kona. They're everywhere. Many other Kai are ahead. Draw your swords. Taste the sting of my Something comes. Charles. He just picked up the whole tree. Okay. Wait, so the daylight out. We must counter this evil. We did not yeah, like I said, <laughs> liberties and deviations were taken. Would be the the mechanic. There. Okay, level five leadership, leadership bonus and fear and vulnerability to nearby elven warriors. Twenty damage and twenty-five more experience. Okay. That's going to be useful later on. Like this. <laughs> no. <laughs> We're already dead. Oop. Yeah, this fight could have turned out quite a bit different if Gandalf was still around. <laughs> huh? I will see the glory of Gondor restored. It may be time to use our feet. Run, hobbits, run! We have to do something. Over here! Ooly. Yep, and those two take off. Yep, fight our way through this. Let's see. Leadership plus 50 damage and 50% uh, experience for all troops around him. So yeah, very good to have on Aragorn. And Gimli has gained stubborn pride, of course. Nearby units invulnerable to fear. And we don't have time to go deal with those. Okay. Get them off Boromir, who is currently stunned there. Gandalf is firing his laser. Gimli, get in the middle of it. <laughs> yep, leap attack. Secure the boats so Frodo and Sam can escape. And... This here is lurched. It's the, that one specific or, or, or Uru that not killed Boromir, but not this time, huh? Run quickly, run! 
Okay. Uh, we'll actually want to wait this one out, I think. No, just for absolute certainty, let's put down a save. This game does not autosave. So, yeah. You'll want to put these down on your yourself wherever you can. Okay. That's it. On yourself? Do you mean by yourself? Yeah. And yeah, Boromir, saving Boromir is a bonus. You can let him die here like in the movies. And the book. But too late for that. Okay. There they are. Okay. If we'd if we'd gone over here, we would have been caught between two forces. So that would have been a bad moment to move out. Yeah. Uh, but uh, this one did have an expansion, did it? Uh, it's the second game that has an expansion. All right. Uh, we are to play both games. Yep. Also, hello. Uh, yeah, enemies are very dense, so it is very easy to, for one of your characters to get surrounded and killed. Also, Gimli, can you go deal with the big ugly thing? So basically, crowd control is important. Yep. Okay. Doing this early, but just to be absolutely certain. Okay. Yeah, the, the trolls and the enemies with the glowing weapons are the most dangerous because the glow means that their weapons are upgraded. Okay. With that cleared out. And this is where everyone splits up. I don't know if you could actually sneak Sam and Frodo to the boat during all of that. But, well, extra kills is more experience. Of course, <laughs> those two did not get a level during this. <laughs> uh, then again, they weren't controllable in this. Okay, plus 20 command and one power point. And let's see. So far, <laughs> of course, Legolas and Gandalf <laughs> with the most kills so far. Then Aragorn and, surprisingly, Boromir with Gimli and last above all of the, <laughs> above all of the hobbits. <laughs> That's going to hurt his pride. While the Fellowship searches for the hobbits, the flames of battle continue to engulf the Okay. Westfold, West Emnet, or East Emnet. And I think the choice here is very clear. Because this one just gives the bonus of both of these. Okay. Some of these will have their own little uh, different West objectives. Emnet, the greatest region of Rohan, where lie the largest cities and fortifications of the Riddermark. Should these cities fall, their people will become refugees. But in general, it's still just kill Destroy all of them. All Isengard forces. Okay, and now we get our first, our first full actual camp. Or castle, or citadel in this case. Okay. Get the farms going. Your okay. Archers to team two. Yep. And we have rain. Okay. One thing with these farms, I believe, is the longer that they're alive, they will actually level up by themselves and be more productive as well. Which, well, means you'll want to keep your farms ooh, alive as long as possible because, well, the longer they're alive, the more valuable they are. 
Okay. Yep, and the longer they alive, the stronger they get. Okay. Can't afford the outpost there. Let me see. We have room for two more squads. Okay. Run them over. Archers can also run over enemies, of course. But you'll want to keep them back more for, well, needling the enemy to death. Okay. Let's get some stables. At least one well, just in case. And we'll also want to build the armory. Oh, wait. No, not the armory, I think. I think at this level, uh, certain upgrades get locked out until you get a, enough missions in. Let's build an outpost here. Okay, that needs a bit of a moment to set up. Okay. Archery range. Yeah, fire arrows are now available, but only at the level 2 archery range. And let's see. Archers, 15 points. Okay, that is a bit unfortunate for us since we need to train up 3 to get uh, the level up. Okay, in the meantime, get that. Actually, go free this little point here. What are our side objectives? Purchase heavy armor and, of course, rank up. Go free battalions. Yeah. Run those the fuck over. Okay, build a farm. And we can build up an armory over here once we have enough uh, money for that. Okay, meantime, uh, I don't have a use for inventory, so go take a hike. Go over there, about. Okay. Do we have... Okay, we do not have enough yet, and I keep forgetting to unselect the archery range. Yeah, armory. Okay. We found one of the enemy's outposts here, and this is why we want upgraded archers. Because now, now the enemy will have upgraded spearmen to go around. Okay, and they're trying to attack here. Okay. Archers, pull away. Needle these to death. But not that close. Okay. Yeah, with this, this amount, they aren't that useful. Or not that lethal yet. You wanna build some more towers? Put away. Okay. And they're chasing the main force. Yep. Do not do that, you dumbasses. But yeah, for the moment, we'll just have to kite these around. They've also got armor upgrades. Oh, one battalion is almost lost. Pull away, quick. Get inside. Luckily, we can close these gates. Okay. Now we can get the fire arrow upgrades. Oh, come on. They got through yeah, just before they closed. Closing the gate. Yep, yep. <laughs> they were trying to head out again. Okay. Well, at least we'll get healed right here as well. And oh. okay, we may have lost a squad there. Okay, uh, open the door. <laughs> we need to get out ourselves now. Okay. Yeah, that, that just goes to show you how dangerous upgraded weapons can be, huh? Yeah, and uh, how I, dangerous... I hope we didn't lose anyone one get, there. Things get when uh, someone's captain is stingy with defenses. Okay. Uh, we don't want that. We want the battle tower. Okay, you can also put up these banners for aura upgrade... for buffing auras. Or, well... <laughs> A side entrance. 
Okay. And hopefully yeah. one of the improvements that have needed is earlier. over. Okay, I really hope we haven't lost the squads. Let's actually build another of these just so we have... I don't... No, 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 don't garrison. I don't think this will speed up healing, but it will make it easier to position since it's a bit of a limited range around these. Okay. okay, we haven't lost any archer battalions. Are those pikemen? Oh, there they are. Okay. Yep, pull back. Yeah, you do need still need to buy the upgrades per uh, unit. Yep. Click touch the game on accident. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, three battalions over the uh, melee ones that you need to give heavy armor. Yeah, it's, it's easy to just give them all of it. Because armor really strengthens a unit by quite a bit. Why imagine? Over. Okay. Uh, let's see. Plus fifty up to fifty plus uh, plus fifty damage plus sixty armor, and these banners will automatically upgrade any units from level one to level two, which can be really useful. That's, well, the more veterancy, the stronger they are. And we've gotten all of the upgrades, but I don't know if you need to keep the armory to be able to keep uh, giving the upgrades. Wrong again. Okay. Now, let's go harass their supply lines. They are harassing ours. Okay. Um, actually, click away. Demolish this one. Then we'll build up a stables here. Buildings will auto-heal after a certain amount of time. You can use peasants to. Oh, you can use peasants to uh, <clears throat> to repair your stuff manually. Build a farm there. Oh yeah, for a good part, these bits are all about just quick resources and harassing their lines. Oop. I can see some... Oh, that's the eye of si the eye that was going around sp spying at our <laughs> our base. Okay. Come on, get past that. Keep these lands safe. Prepare for battle. battle awaits. Okay, come on. And, yeah, that's... That deals with them quite a bit faster, huh? Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, we want as many of these um, as we can. There you go. Actually, before I send them over, clear this place out a bit. Yeah, I, I don't know the exact metas about all of the factions, of course, but, well... Rohan as a uh, 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 yeah. <clears throat> as a cavalry based nation very very much a lean towards raiding and hit and run I'd say okay get you a banner get you your fire arrows and your heavy armor okay. armor for you okay and that's all of our units at max capacity or max capacity in their numbers. Still got a... Oh, okay, no, okay, now I see it. Now I see yeah. There, get that. Okay. Man of Rohan. Banner, arrow, and armor. Okay. The rest of you. We don't want to destroy this place just yet. We do want to keep harassing them as much as we can. <laughs> Delete that. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we've got all of our side objectives. So now we just want to stall a bit. So we can upgrade 
our troops to the maximum. Yes, they carry over, so we don't have to spend this in the next mission. Yes, yes, we get it, you're here. Okay, yep, a bit too early. Or, oh, there's still one building left. Yeah, you can destroy that, but it won't count as everything destroyed. Okay, everyone is upgraded. Oh, there's some <clears throat> there's some shields here. We're just upgrade at stables to enable. But oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, okay. Then we go roam around a bit more. Just buy time. Oh dear. Because yeah, we want to preserve strong units as best as we can, of course. These little side camps, these don't count for win or defeat, I believe. I didn't think we had the the archers along as well. Okay, go over there. Okay, more shields. Yep. Plus 75% armor versus arrow, and plus 20 armor versus cavalry. Let us hunt some ore. Okay. Yep. Um. <laughs> Is, there's just, they're just vibing for a bit, it seems. Okay. And that's all the shields for everyone, so we'll just finish this off. And finish off the enemy. I do think as we go with this, the AI... Gets upgraded as well. So, double check. Yep, everyone has had their upgrades. And, yeah, they rebuilt that. Which just means we need to tear it down again. Onwards! <laughs> down she goes. There is still hope. Okay, I don't think we lost anyone. But I do think we got close to losing at least one squad. We'll assume no. Okay. 20 command, and plus 10% resources. Let's see, Tatum, Rakir, Sensei, Kisuke, Pika, Brandon, and three new squads. Let's see, Rom. Oh, it, Liz? it seems we lost Liz. <laughs> Oops. You lost Liz? You, you, you're going to apologize to her after this. Yeah. Let's see. Let's lay one of these hex. And let's see. Pizza. Okay. The power of Isengard has not waned. Its armies still swarm across Rohan. Okay, and while the Fellowship is traveling around, we get to clear out a bit more here. East Emnet, the rolling grasslands where the hardiest of Rohan's men live a nomadic life. They will fight to the death for their homeland. Destroy all Isengard forces. Okay. Gather your weapons. Archers. Horsemen and Eomir. Our objectives are destroy all war riders that patrol this area and of course level up. Uh, do you see the one of the bonuses there was already done? Uh yeah, purchase heavy armor for three battalions. <laughs> Okay. Let's get moving. <clears throat> we have enough space for one more squad, but hmm. There they are. What should we do? Yeah, we might as well. Yeah, get our economy need rolling. A new uh, melee squad since you lost the other one. I think we can do with the amount that we have. 
Okay. The Rohirrim archers are the more useful ones, I'd say. Okay, we need a stable. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Actually... Yeah, uh, we'll see. We need to build another archery range to get the fire uh, arrows upgrade again. Oh, back off. Yep. No, not that, you idiots. It, yeah, you can just see how much freaking damage that does. Yeah, and that was probably more you being a bit of a clumsy one with the fingers. Okay. Stables. Okay, you lots this way. Yeah. Are you not going? Get, get away, you idiots! Why are? Uh. Yeah, they had, if they had skirmish mode, they would have run away. First squads. Yelmir, what the hell? Okay. Now just. Wait. Did I miss? Did I miss click early on or something? Oh, these are the archers. Okay, that explains why they just rolled, <laughs> ran head first into trouble. Not that those seem to be much different. So, okay, that was my mistake with. <laughs> Binding the team's fault yeah, in the wrong way. Okay, we probably lost someone there. There. Okay. Let's claim this. Okay, we might. Okay, we may not have lost someone because we haven't. We haven't dropped 20 points. We and we started with 200 here, I believe. Okay. Yeah. May as well build one of these statues here. That's, uh, plus 75% damage and fear reduction. So, yeah. Good for defense. Okay. We're here, archers. Okay. Now we go look for the enemy, clear them out, Keep these lands and safe. move on. Okay. Of course, the <laughs> of course the statue has the sound of pigeons. Go with haste. Okay. The I know where the enemy camp is. It's up there. Pull back. Have to take down the game again. These are armored and have their weapons upgraded. Okay. Ooh, points over there. May as well turn this on. Throw spear, bonus damage to monsters and cavalry. Single, powerful, and fast recharge range attack. Oh, that's a bunch of them. Luckily, even with their armor, they can be quite easily trampled. But they still destroyed the well, it seems. Okay. Up this way. They will continue to set up... They will continue to set up... Uh, no. Outpost where they can. And that... That... <laughs> <laughs> that ping signified the completion of a side objective. Uh, Eomir or someone up there is alone, the surrounded. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, they, kill oh, they killed him. He's... Okay, deal with that. Okay, let's go harass their camp. Our enemy has claimed these lands. Okay, we need to continue. Okay, these are not the patrols, but these are 
still work, uh, riders. We're under attack! Mm. Away! Set forth! Riders, come off! Now is the hour! One and two together. Set forth! Oh, uh, I really yeah, I remember something about the wargs. Away! Yeah. Yeah, there, there is apparently two theories that they're related to, or where they came from. One is one of uh, Morgoth, Sauron's master. Um, I forgot its name, but basically a giant evil wolf that he had corrupted. Okay. And the other one is that they may be descended from um, werewolves. Okay. Since apparently they can or was able to once talk these wars. Alright. Okay. For now though, we're just going to clear this place out. Okay. All of our... Yep, all of that gotten. Okay. I, I want to try and get to eight power points uh, here. Or even star points. There is still hope. Did you lose someone? Mm, we'll see in a second here. All of that. Yermir got his level. Eight units gained rank. Okay. Let's see. Rom, Tatum, you, Sensei. Peace K, Pika, Brandon, Liz the second, Pizza next. No, we lost no one. Though. So, I... Wait. Yes. Hmm? We made a new squad, but they're not tagging along for some reason. Okay. Odds. Or did they get killed while I wasn't looking or something? I don't think I saw an attack. The captured hobbits are in grave danger and many miles from friends. Their only hope lies with the brave warriors of Rohan. Frodo and Sam here heading towards the mountain. And yeah, <laughs> Gandalf and the bunch chasing after these two. And so will we. On the eaves okay. of Fangorn, the great plains of Rohan meet the ancient wooded home of the Ents. Yeah, we don't get to play as Ymir's army at the moment here, but they are on their way. Call in the Ymir's army when he arrives. Rescue Merrin and Pippin, or Merrin, Merry and Pippin, and level up three battalions. And well, you could take an easy guess as to what we'll get on this level. And. <laughs> okay, now we do want to be careful around here. You actually go attack towards there. These two head this way. So actually, you stay here. Because a nice little detail here is that, well, enemies can have, or archers can have fire arrows, and well, Ends made out of wood and all that. Cut out. Oh. Uh, oh. So I, we get to see it here, I guess. The ants can catch fire. Okay. Boom. Luckily, that will that will speed them up. And ah! if we if we steer them into water, they'll extinguish. Oh, okay. nice. 
but they do take quite a bit of damage from fire arrows, so we do want to be very careful with that. So only take five damage if there's water nearby. Yep. Okay. And, yeah. <laughs> and doing a very pissed off walk. Okay. Come on. Yeah, close enough. Where? And yeah, we'll get an end for every lumber camp of the enemies that we destroy. Okay. Fountain, very important here. And let's get an armory. Okay. You actually start throwing some stones. You catch up. And me, you refill my drink. So be right back. That one can go defend the place a bit. Incoming. Okay, luckily it's, it's typically easy to see which enemies have uh, fire arrows from, well, the fact that they have lit up bows. Oop, like, yep, uh, those, were my, those are my own units. Okay, heal up a bit. Banner, armor, weapons. Okay, go deal with those, please. Okay. So yeah, we'll want to build up our forces as much as we can until Eomir arrives. Those are fleeing, so no need to go after them. Okay. Nope. One of the ants is already picking a fight over here with a bunch of trolls. Okay. Here they come. Ooh, back away, back away. The heavy armor is ready. Gather your weapons, enemies of Rohan. Okay. Stay sharp. Ew. Are you being captain? Yes. Okay, oop, wet. Ah, one of the ants got caught over there. And ooh, what's going on? Ah, damn it. Uh, yeah, there's quite a bit of enemies here, so we'll want to be careful with taking that off. Okay. Uh, yeah, you'll just have to, uh, good luck there. Okay. So, yeah, there, we do not want to attack that encampment until we've got a lot of units already. Uh, you two come along as well. Uh, we lost one of our horsemen, I think. Okay. Uh, melee or ranged? Two, three. A uh, mixture is good. Okay. It's less than three minutes until Eomir can be summoned. Uh, uh, Ahmed, uh, which one do you lose? Mm, not sure. Okay. So, another ant. Uh, this one in the middle here will give you two ants, I believe. Okay, and similar to how the trolls can be overwhelmed with arrows, so can the ants. Okay. Actually, there. That should heal all of you up. Okay, now go help the ants. Okay. Two minutes. Okay. No, that was a bad idea. Okay. 
Okay, you go back. You need to heal big time. Yep. There. These. Now, oh, come on. Deselect these for a bit. Okay. One of you go deal with that. Okay. Pull back. Now, there is one thing that can trip you up here. And that is, once we destroy all enemy buildings, the mission will end. So once this camp is destroyed, it, that is uh, it. So we actually want to avoid destroying the camp too early. Uh, turn it to them! There. Okay. And Yermir can be called in any second now. With these, we can go save the hobbits. Pull back a bit. Archers, front. Okay. I better hurry. Okay. Okay, they lost all of their... Yep, there we go. Help me! Men of Rohan, Men of Rohan. Stay sharp. And there they go. Okay. All Rohan units here. converge. Right out. Right out. <laughs> yep. Okay, not even those spearmen could <laughs> take that on. It did hurt them a bit. Okay. There we go. The heroes of Middle Earth are victorious. Ah. Yes. Side objectives. No level up for Eomir this time. Six units gain experience. Okay. And plus 20 command and 10% resources. Okay. But none of the but none of the units that we brought up here will actually continue on. So on we go. Eves of Fangor defended. Saruman's army sweeps across Rohan. Threatening every village in its path. Okay, now we get to choose again. Fangorn for two power points. World, uh, Wold for plus 20 resources. Eastfold for 20 uh, command points and 10% resources. Or still Westfold for only 10%. Easy choice, I'd say, huh? And yeah, they are drawing closer and closer there. Fangorn, it is. That's just oh way dear. too good to skip. Fangorn, the most ancient forest of Middle-earth, is the last home of the Ents, shepherds of the trees. Destroy all Isengard forces. Let's set up camp mm -hmm. here. For some reason, the archers get put up front. Which does not make much sense, if you ask me. Their archers are supposed to be at the back. Okay. Build the outposts. Secure the aid of the Ents that reside in this forest. Destroy all evil camps, make contact with the Ents, and command your Ents to throw rocks. Still a bit of tutorial. And we can make three extra units now. So... 
Stables, archery range, and an armory. Okay. Now, oh, there they are. Archers, quickly. There we go. We have a little outpost over here. And this is where the ants are. Okay. Nope. Go over there. One, two, three. And I'll set the... There. Okay, because we want to train up archers, but we don't want to keep the archers. There. Okay. Uh, once that is done... <clears throat> and let's see. Okay. Okay. Before I start with that, we should build a bit of an economy and a healing spot. Okay, come on. There. One more farm. Oh. Okay. And to team three. Rohan must stand. Okay. We must defend our country. The enemy is settled here already. Oop. The enemy is upon us, man! Ah, there they are. Keep a watchful eye. Ew, pull away enemy. from that. Men of Rohan. Archers. We must defend our country. Let us hunt some orc. Right there. And yeah, let's see how quickly they just melt these guys. We have the new under attack! Oh. Trying to sneak up on me, huh? There we go. Okay. The ants have found another place here. Okay. Grow rock, grow rock, grow rock. Okay. Oh, two more ants have spawned. Three. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Okay, that's upgraded archers. We have one good counter for that. Just run them the fuck over. Okay, that armor does protect them quite well, though. Okay, I hope we didn't lose a squad there. Okay. Uh, where is the healing? There's the healing. Okay. Uh, back here for a sec. Get these. And, oh. Keep a watchful eye. The, the ends are taking up uh, seat, uh, command points. So, yeah, that's a bit unfortunate. That means I can't make the extra no, arches that I wanted. Okay. Dead there, Captain. Dead there. Okay, heal up. Keep these lines ready. Keep them away! Hit the enemy! Oh, well. Rohan must stand! Keep a watchful eye! Keep these lands safe! Let me see any other... Okay, just destroy all evil camps. We ride! They've already taken this area. Keep these lands safe! Stay the armor is ready! Oh. There we go. Get rid of them quickly. Heal up. Bunch of us in over here. Let us hunt some orcs. Okay. Trolls. Punish these enemies of Rohan. The new Rohan is ready. They will rot beneath us. Defend our country. Never shall they return. Hit the enemy. Okay. That's one camp gone. Yep, but there is more. Also, there's big treasure up here. It's 12,000 gold. <laughs> so, yeah. Our enemy has claimed these lands. Set forth. Okay, get rid of those. Uh, what's it? Oh, just an attack of those idiots. Okay. We got, yep, another end here. They And another one there. They kind of blend in, which, well, supposed to, I, <laughs> I guess. Yep. Away. Yeah. Keep a watchful eye. Go with haste. 
Okay, run those over. Clear that out, please. Okay. So, yeah. There we go. Same objective. Just a little bit different with more ends. <laughs> okay. Victorious! <laughs> okay. All right. No losses. No losses. Okay. Now we have ten the warriors points. of Rohan seek refuge in Helm's Deep, but many will die before reaching its gates. Yeah, almost time for Helm's Deep. As Merry and Pippin draw closer to Isengard, and these two, well, are on, they were here, but they basically went. That's a lot of fuckers, so let's fuck off in this direction instead. Okay, Yumir. I believe this is the last of these. So, let's get the most we can. The East Fold of Rohan is controlled by Eomer, the third marshal of the Riddermark in the King's name. His lands must not fall into darkness. <laughs> Fitting that he'll defend his Destroy own lands all, last with this. Let's set up camp here. One castle. And someone else is here. The battle awaits. Okay. Enough to wait. Farm. Is it not nice we get to see the names of our battalions here? Yeah, I, I think that would probably that would probably no. bunch up the things a bit too much. No, no, no. Look, look for yourself. Hmm. Right. Uh, click on our unit. Oh. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, I'd never noticed that before, actually. Uh, yeah, but for, for on the other side... Uh, 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 the full battalion, Rohan battalion of uh, Jaki and all that. Okay, I'd never noticed that, actually. And we have a time limit. Isengard oh. is on the move. What are our other objectives? Level up three battalions. Okay. And yep, yeah, Gandalf is now mounted. And we can hide. Oh, we can hide. get new uh, units. Yep, three extra battalions that we can get. So, let's get the stables. Uh, let's save a few more farms. Okay. Actually, head back here for a bit. Yes, yes, Gandalf. We know, <laughs> we know you're a fly guy. <laughs> yeah, you, we know you're pretty fly for a white wizard. Okay, that one was bad, even for me. Okay. You want you to deserve this, Captain? You have failed. The enemy there. Right, just wish we had, we had uh, just a metal pipe yeah. drop on you at times. I could probably get that one, or I could just deny you. Okay, it's well, a horse, it not a not a, <laughs> a dragon or something. <laughs> it's not a Pegasus you're uh, riding, Gandalf. Okay. Uh, let's see. Birds of... Oh. Oh, some of our units already gained levels. Okay. There. Okay. Put up a farm here. These are actually cheaper, the little out singular ones, than the one in your bases and such. This is a nice little trade-off. They're cheaper, but they're also much more vulnerable to attack. Okay. Give me the loot. 
a bit over five minutes until Isengard uh, arrives. They aren't that big of a attack force, I believe. But probably still a good idea to just be rid of this place before then. Yeah. Two more. Up there. Okay, banner. Oop. Attacking coming. Okay. Uh, the way that the cavalry AI goes on, works yeah, on its own. Uh, let's see. No. Yep. No anti-cavalry. Okay. Typically when you send them to attack a squad, they will charge through them at first, but then they'll turn around to engage them in melee. Which is... Well, it's much better to just have them just absolutely charge straight through a line from the front to the back. But they will... Once they lose enough speed from that, they will stop dealing damage. Alright then. I guess that does make sense to just run through then, then you turn around and deal with the survivors. Yeah. Yeah. Or you, I guess you could say uh, the shattered rank. Yep. It says they're no longer in tight formation. And that is the. That's what cavalry is supposed to do: shatter ranks of infantry and flank. Yeah. Or in oh, the one of the. the mm. I guess this is one of the methods. Hammer and anvil. Yep. Okay. You, your infantry is sold in the line while your cavalry rides around and attack from behind, all from the flanks. Or both, yep. you can. If you're the both, oh bloody heck of the massacre. Okay. Keep damaging there. Where, oh, there's our third squad. Gather your there. Gather your, weapons. Gather your armor instead. Okay. They won't be able to rebuild for a bit. Uh, actually, let's destroy that instead. That's a siege workshop. Or siege works. Not that it will do them much good here. Okay, pull away. Okay, we want to stall a little bit to upgrade these more. Uh, wait, we can't upgrade them more. Uh, let's see, anyone else who might get upgrades? No, I don't think so. Okay. Did they set up anywhere else? No. Okay. Aha! The shadow has been turned back. Okay, I'm pretty sure even if Isengard arrives, if you destroy the camp, you still win anyways. But that will complicate matters. Okay. And now we get to the main show. Let's see. 40 minutes. Mm. Should be doable. The great fortress of Helm's Deep is the last refuge Wait, of the people of Rohan. Its defenses must hold, or all is lost. Okay, we can save here, yes. So, Helm's Deep. And, yeah, as you can see with my saves here, I have done plenty of testing to get you know, to see if I could get to this point here, but we'll see if this uh, if we can do this. If not, we have to save to start here next time. Helm's For a moment of fortune, fort and refuge has sheltered the people of Rohan against countless enemies.
Draw all our forces behind the wall. Bar the gate and set a watch on the surround. I surround. want every man and strong lad able to bear arms to be ready for battle by night. We'll cover the causeway and gate from above. No army has ever breached the deeping wall or set foot inside the horn. They will break upon this fortress like water on a rock. Saruman's horde will pillage and burn. We've seen it before. Within these walls, we will outlast the them. Senses alert. By order of the king, make ready for battle. Keep your oh. alert. Let's move on. What I was to say was, um, for a moment I thought you were about to accidentally exit the game. Okay, we have no use of that, so we'll have to destroy it. Okay. Now, the way I get through this level Wait, is on. just build as many of these fuckers as I can. What? Wrong music! Keep your senses alert. Keep your senses alert. Okay, you lot. You lot over here. Courage, courage for our friends. Okay. The cavalry team three for the moment. Okay. Just keep building farms. Shortcut key is F. So I can do that. Oh, so many units you can get. Yep. But will it be enough? Because, well, yeah. we know how this fight goes. There uh, will be waves upon waves of the fuckers. Yeah, are you gonna need a lot of archers on the walls and all that? Yep. We must be yeah, okay. So, yeah, this is will get even worse if the wall falls. Yeah, but yeah, this is one of the maps where you definitely need the infantry. Also, the reason I've been sa sa yeah, saving these up because I want this cloud break. Stuns enemy units for 10 seconds and reduce their armor by 35% and movement speed by 30. Cooldown of 6 minutes. Also, let's get this. Elven gives 50% bonus to damage and 30% bonus to armor. Could have gotten that a lot earlier probably, but still... Okay. Do we have all the farms we can get? Yes. Okay, over here... You could build one of these here. I would strongly advise against. Okay. Yeah. Now we want this one to just mass produce. Okay. Uh, if anything, I would put, put, rather build a tower, not an extra gate. That is no orc horn. Send for the king. My kinsmen come. Here come the elves. Pick up our bows for Rohan. Okay. Yep. I keep forgetting to deselect. I fear neither death nor pain. We must rise up against the elves. Evil. Come, open the gates and send for the king. Take the horses this way. There's no awkward. Okay, this is one of the changes made here. This is a lot more elves than you normally get. I think normally you get like two. And hello again, hold dear. Welcome. Keep what word attack. from the elves? How is this possible? I bring word from the elven come lands. Long ago, elves and men held alliance against darkness. We come to honor we that allegiance, to fight way. alongside men once more. Pick up your bows, countrymen. Now that they're here, we can train elven warriors here as well. And yep, let's actually prioritize this one. We just want as many elves as we want. <laughs> okay. Here, be watchful for the enemy. No. Elven warriors. I want. I want to Elven pull warriors. away two squads of these. Our homes must be defended. There, and Legolas. Actually, whilst we're here, train this batch. Make them into a squad. The refugees. I sense a clear path. Courage, courage for our friends. Quickly! Refugees have arrived, they must be defended. Okay, we have a lot of wall to cover. So we need to spread these out. Isengard approaches to arms! Protect the refugees! Either with those, let's see. Destroy all forces of Isengard, call in Eomir's army when he arrives, defend the deeping wall for at least ten minutes. Okay. 
this evil. We're under attack! Okay, simple enough. The refugees are safe. A reward has been left at the gates. Okay. You've come to protect your weapons ready, elves. Elves! Uh, where are the there you are? You lots retreat back here. You are not going to be of use in any fights. Okay. Uh, let's see. We must protect the woods. Fire arrows for every single person. Okay. Now, we need to spread these out here. Fight valiantly, elves. You lot are group three. You lot group two. Protect the refugees. You lot group one. You lot join with group two. We must protect the woods. You join group three. Come with me. Okay. I kind of forgot about the refugees. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Did, did the refugees, um... Yeah, they died. Okay. Oop. Hold back, you. Okay. Yeah, if I had to give the captain some disciplinary actions. Uh, let's see. Let your spirits be strong. We will not let our people fail. Be ready, archers. Team one. Okay. Now, another reason that I want this is because this rain, that's an enemy power working at the moment. And yeah, we would have gotten another reward if we'd saved the refugees. Oops. <laughs> okay. Let me see. Must not fail. You lot go up there. And let's demolish these two. I think we have enough for the moment. And we already have statues here, so we can build up some healing wells here. Heroic statue. And yeah, the more of these kinds that you have, the, you also get uh, bonuses from having a certain amount of them, like you can see. Uh, reduces cost of heroes, two statues, 10%, 20 for three, and 30 for four. With these, they reduce the... Uh, they reduce the amount of... Uh, the, they reduce the cost of infantry. Okay. Keep up hmm. the attack. More. Fight I think I might need to split these into more groups. You are number five. Keep up the attack. Number four. This is our time. Three. I know these lands. Hmm. Okay, I might have. I thought that, you know, I might have thought there were more of them Nothing than. Shall stand before us. My thoughts. Keep up the attack. Three. Go forward. for the enemy. With haste. Okay. And, yeah, that's a lot of Isengard forces on the map, huh? Yeah. Keep up the attack. Okay. And, yeah, the main problem here is going to be these, the ladders. Because a wall is only as strong as long as it can keep the enemy off of it. Yeah. Also, Haldir, get your bow out. Okay. Okay. Here they come. First priority targets are the ladders. Second priority are any crossbowmen. Or would crossbow orcs be bit? Uh, yeah, crossbow orcs. Attack those, attack those, attack those. 
Yeah, like a more. Nope. There. Oh, wait, I'm realizing a mistake. What is on the wall? What is on the wall? Two is on the wall. Oh, there. Oh, okay. I just in the way. Okay. Yeah, it's best that I send these away or keep them only on the fence. If I have them selectable, along with the archers, they will actually go run down all the way around to go fight them, which, well, is going to get them killed. That's going to get yeah. us killed. Okay, that's already a lot more ladders. Yeah, one of the big changes is a lot more ladders. That makes this a lot tougher. Okay. Legolas, come over here quickly. Okay. That's all of them done. Okay, we are taking losses though. Oh, oh, idiots! Get up there! But that's why the, uh, the orcs were moving away towards that interaction. Okay. Well, that. Okay, that may have helped us indirectly. Oh, and here comes the reason why we want Legolas up here. Come on, can they still shoot them? Okay, no, they need to be at an angle to shoot them. Okay. And, yeah, you can see how this can become a problem with, multi with uh, micromanaging all these idiots. One way that you could help this, could help lessen this... Uh, where are the... Are, there is the crossbowmen. Oh, not the... Ah, oh, damn it, we lost. He lost all of his supports. You lot, go join him. Okay, and it, now, it's, now it's just a crapshoot for him. <laughs> okay. Group 3 has been thinned out a lot. And here comes the third wave. Oh, Legolas, primary targets. Gimli, get gone from here, you. Gimli. Oh, mines. Oh, there. Oh, well, that went bad. Okay, everyone away. Every single one up here. Now it... Okay. That... I, was that 10 minutes? Nope. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Now we're in trouble. Okay. Everyone over here. And yeah, that is why I built up the secondary layer here. Okay, we lost a lot there. Uh, no, over there, all of you. Uh, Aragon, get off there. Close that. All heroes here. Okay. Okay, bye. Okay. Uh, well, at the very least, they can keep them busy, I guess. Okay, we are left with a whole lot less archers than I thought. The first mine must have taken out quite a bit of them. Okay. We can still win this. Aragorn, get in the middle there. Your buff can help a lot. Gimli. Boromir. 
Legolas is already there. Train them up. They'll deal more damage. Okay. Where were you? Where were you, Gimli? All melee fighters at the open gate here. That we cannot close that off. Okay. Spread out. We need as many archers firing as we can. There we go. Okay. And yeah, now all we can really do is wait and hope that we survive. And here comes the next wave already. Oh, what is that supposed to be? Okay, I probably should have I should have activated that at the start. Because well all of <laughs> like the rain is an enemy power that debuffs our units. So yeah, our units were getting constantly you know, debuffed there, or were under a constant debuff there. Okay. Oh dear. Prioritize archers. Not the time, Legolas. Let me, let me select there okay. we need nope not break away you need to shoot those incoming okay this is a loss all the selection was being iffy and now we've lost all of our archers okay yeah if we if we had shot down all of those crossbowmen we would have been able to shoot down upon them well freely Ooh. they've got ballista so yeah now we need to rely on the few melee units that we have okay and of course they're over there Okay. We have a chokehold at least. Nope, hold the ear. Okay, there goes Legolas. Okay. In this mission, though, we can lose our heroes and not uh, lose an automatic, uh, not have an automatic failure. But let's be honest, I don't see this holding out. For, you know, they're just play, they're playing, ignoring them and walking past them. Oh dear. Okay, yeah, this is a loss. But luckily, here we can re revive our allies or our heroes. Okay, not that uh, that's going to be of use now. Okay, there goes the key. Oh, of course, Gimli. <laughs> there will be no dawn for us. Our days are gone. Okay, Boromir was the last one alive. <laughs> and the game immediately goes, oh, it's just Boromir. We're lost. Okay. Luckily, we don't get kicked out of the game or anything. So we can try again. But shall we try that? Hmm. I don't think we can get that done in another 20 minutes. So I guess that's a cliffhanger for next time then. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you, you can see why I consider this point the... Uh, can you act, are you actually prepared for the rest of the game moments? <laughs> All right. Yeah. Technically, no need to say it again, but still. Why it's supposed to be hard. <laughs> okay, like I said, this game won't hold your hands 
with the difficulty. Okay. For now, let's step away then. Uh, I, I believe there's two scenes that this can go to. The other one is the original, I believe. I don't know if this if this scenario was in the original game. Uh, if it was, I certainly don't remember it. <clears throat> but yeah, there is another of these fly-through scenarios. Maybe we'll find that next time on Thursday when we continue. So for now... Okay, yeah, this this here is the tutorial, the battle school. I'll, I'll give you a quick show of why it's just uh, not really that good. Okay. It is highly cinematic, but just not good as a tutorial. Here you will learn the basics of how to lead your forces into war. In the battle for Middle-earth, it is your goal to defeat the forces of the enemy. Capture their lands and destroy their castles. You will command the armies of good and evil. Conquer the lands of your enemy and seal the fate of the One Ring. There are two main portions of the game. The Living World and Battle Mode. The Living World map will allow you to survey all of Middle-earth, and it is from here that you will make high-level strategic choices. You may left-click to zoom in. When zoomed in, you can decide which territory to conquer in order to collect bonuses for your army. To scroll through the map, push your cursor toward the edge of the screen to move in that direction. Yeah. Typically with tutorials, it is just better to have you actually do the things, but I've, I've, yeah. <laughs> I've seen tutorials that are worse, that are worse than that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. For now, as the flyby continues, let us go look for someone to raid. So, let me bring up the browser, Twitch, and there. Change windows. Switch live. Let's see. There's a good amount of people online. Uh, let's see. We have Three O Jack playing Dead by Daylight. We have Alex the Hyena VT who is streaming a retro game. Uh, but it doesn't say which retro game. Let me double check. Yep, mute it. What are you up to? Mm -hmm. Uh. Okay, I do not recognize this one. <laughs> the game name is right there. G Skyblazer? Yeah, can't say I've ever heard of that. Uh, let's see. Next up, we have... I'm just... I'm narrowing it down because there's just so many here. We have WBPL who is streaming Nordic Ashes Survivors of Ragnarok. April Goob Art Review. Go. And, of course, the fucking ads... Uh, let me see. Okay, isometric. Uh, oh, wait. It's uh, survivors like, I'm presuming. Typically, that's not in the subtitle, but in the uh, the first title, I guess. Or it looks a bit su survivors like to me. Uh, yeah. Can uh, I ask let's me see. a weird Doomstar feel to it? Yeah. Uh, I, I think it. Mm. It looks to me like it is like uh, vampire survivors and such. Oh, uh, uh, but it could be different that we're just getting a... Mm. Okay. Uh, let's see, one more. Uh... Uh, Halloween is playing Stellar Blade. I've heard of that game. I've heard that there's also a bit of uh, commotion about it, about censorship and such. But it's made by the same people who made uh, Nikkei, Goddess of Victory. It's a... Uh... <laughs> A bit of a gotcha game that I have been playing for a while. Actually, yeah, pretty good story and characters, I'd say. Yeah, I think people do love the story all that, even on the Stellar Blade. But yeah, just people gonna drama about every little single thing they can drama about. Yeah. Okay. Uh, any of those you suggest, or do you see anyone else here, or shall I take a pick? 
Uh, I will let you take a pick. Okay, I'd say we go right to WBPL then to see just how much of this game is survivors and such. Uh, yeah, I am sort of curious about Stellar Blade, but it's only on PS5, and well, I don't have one, so bad luck for me, I guess. Okay, copy name, go to our place. All right, and slash raid, paste. But before we start with that, of course, uh, thank you everyone who's watching now or later. Thank you, Lord Dresden. Thank you, Mario Rocamonfina. Uh, Probably butchering that completely. And I saw Noon was lurking for a while. Uh, do we have any other lurkers? Uh, doesn't look like it. Okay. <clears throat> and yeah, thank you as always, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend. And thank you all for watching. Okay. Uh, maybe we'll have Valheim tomorrow. We'll have to see about things and such. Uh, but we're definitely continuing with this game, which is now silently going because it's not select, uh, not the primary process. Wait, there. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Do you have Minecraft tomorrow as well? Uh, all right, Mine Minecraft will be, yeah. Uh, we're still a bit uncertain about the time. So, uh, I'll poke you if they start making sounds of, uh, let's, you know, let's get gathered up and such. So, hmm, yeah, maybe no Valheim then. Hopefully the Minecraft SMP uh, will start up. For a survival multiplayer, that is. And, yeah, we'll see how things go with that, hopefully. Hmm. Oh, gee, it's going to be chaos. Yeah, beyond that, we will be continuing with this game on Thursday, though. So, yeah, let's get that raid started. And, yeah, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone. Sleep well. And watch out for uh, fell beasts. <laughs> and Isengard seagulls. <laughs>